and you haven't had one of those days where nothing seemed to go your way, but you got through it anyway, that's what today's going to be about. I set my sights on putting the front cap back on Christine, got the two fenders on, the hood on, and then just as we were trying to dial in the hood, it tacoed on me. So I had to go get a piece of flat bar, welded in a few pieces of flat bar to the two outer flanges, reinforced it, got it realigned. Difficult day today. If you want to see me frustrated and but still getting it done, <laughs> stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of Storm Christine. We're getting ready to get working on our 56 Bel Air again this morning. It's a nice, pretty Saturday morning. It's going to be a little warm today, but before I get started, I wanted to show you my uh, work partner here, <laughs> Deuce. Deuce. Deuce is a bad dog, isn't he? That's right. He's just vegging out on the bench, enjoying the morning sun in the shade. <laughs> That's a bad boy. <laughs> no, he's not. He's actually a good dog. But what, what we're going to get started on today in the garage is last weekend I was working on this front fender and uh, I'm going to I'm going to try to mount the front end, uh, the front cap back on the two fenders and the hood. Just just enough to to be able to start bearing in all the places where those all those parts come together. The back part of the fender towards the edge of the door, uh, the hood to the top of the fender. But let me show you something that I did last week just putzing around during the week. So this is the fender that we put body filler on last week. Uh, stretched out the, the top of a weld that was here, a patch that I put in. And I primed it, it was the last thing I did. And during the week, I just couldn't help myself. I took out a block sander and put some uh, 320 on it just to see how the primer was gonna work out. And uh, so I started block sanding it just lightly. I mean, I, I spent maybe like literally two minutes on this fender just like gently sanding. But what I wanna show you is what's coming up. You can see we got a few low spots and high spots. So there's some high spots that are showing up here. And you can see it's coming through back to the filler that I put in as I'm, I'm blocking it. But what I want to show you is how, how close this is to being like, you know, what you, what your eyes see and what the sandpaper picks up, what the block picks up. Here's a dip here and here. Watch, I'm going to put a feeler gauge on that with a straight edge. So watch, I'm right on top of this little divot and you can see it. You can see how the sandpaper hit the highs and there's the low. Watch how close this is. I've got a straight edge. Now I've got my feeler gauge, that's four thousandths. Four thousandths. And it's touching there. And four thousandths just barely goes behind it. I've got to work at it to get it. It's like it doesn't quite go here, but it hits right there, it goes through four thousandths so it's basically four mils right here that's how low that is but you can see how the sandpaper shows it up just way for thin <laughs> so this is what we got to pick up with uh you know our last little bit of detail work i'm not going to do that today but that's what's in the future so i'm using roberto multifill express dtm me1 four to one uh, primer with a catalyst. This is a high build primer. This builds up to 200 microns and microns is a metric unit. So thousandths and of an inch and millimeter um, and millage is all in standard units. So uh, 200 microns is what this builds up to in two coats, which is about the equivalent of eight mils, which is eight thousandths. I measured four thousandths on that hole. So this primer ought to cover all of those depressions that I just showed you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put the two fenders on, I'm going to put the, the hood on. I don't know that I'm going to mount it with my, uh, my hinges. I don't have the hinges here, I might have to go get them if I need to do it, but we'll see. We'll see how all of this comes together. So let me go ahead and assemble all this. This is going to take me a little while. And I'm only going to do it temporarily with uh, a, a bolt here and a bolt there. I'm not going to do it uh, full toot. So let me do that and then we'll come back and start doing some more body work. Wow, this thing is fighting me. <laughs> I think I finally got it. I think I finally got it. I had to do some beating and banging to get it. 
you might be able to see some of the marks. But I had to pry and bend and shape. I have no idea how the heck this fender came off of this and fit. I know I did some modifications down here, patched some rust. The length of the um, the rocker panel is not exactly right. I got it shimmed right now. I'm gonna have to do something to shim this out this way. The door gap's a little wonky. I'm gonna play that with body filler because it's very close, but it's just a little, it's got a little wobble in it. So I'm gonna end up doing that. I got these two now close enough to where I can fare them together. I think I'm there. So, but while I'm doing this, check my boy Deuce out. <laughs> It is hot, hot, hot. And Deuce is in the sun. Oh, Deuce. He's sleepy. The <laughs> life of a dog. <laughs> Let's get back at it. All right, we got the front end put back together. I got the two uh, fenders on. I got the hood on. I had to stop and go pick up the hinges. I had to go across town and go get the hinges, bring them back. Mounted the hood and the hinges and proceeded to taco the hood. The hood was so stiff that when I pushed down on it, it literally kinked the passenger side flange. So we've got to pivot. You know what this episode is going to be about? <laughs> Stiffening that hood. So let me show you what I'm going to do. All right, so the hood, it's aligning here and then here, it's trending high and then it comes down and it's flush back here. So it's got a little bit of a sweep in it that the fender doesn't have. And so I'm either gonna have to build this up with body filler, which I don't wanna do, or I can help this flimsy hood by welding in stiffeners on the back side. And that's what I'm gonna do. The other side is the one that I tacoed. Let's go look at that. I straightened it out, but still it's, it's goofed up. So I had the, these two in alignment, and I think that's part of the problem is I split, split, and split these in another episode, and then I welded it closed. And and one of the seams it it kinked and the whole flange on the back side underneath the hood just went boom, just went right underneath. So we picked the hood back up, beat it and banged it and straightened it and got it to where it is now. But this is the side that I'm afraid that it's going to end up doing that again. And this one similarly, even though at one point in time I had this entire side lined up, it's not lined up right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick this hood up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill. Spot weld holds in the hood, clamp the flat bar to the inside, and then weld through the spot weld holds on the outside, and then clean it up with a grinder. You'll never know it was done, but there won't be any problems with this hood misaligning in the future. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Let's get after it. All right, I took the springs off the hinges because I couldn't even flex it. I mean, it's like I was afraid of kinking the hood again. So what I'm gonna do is this is cut to 20 inches and it's stiffening this part right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drill holes here. I think I'm gonna go with five maybe. One, two, three, that's one in the middle, four, five. That puts them at about four inches apart. So I'm gonna do that. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably weld the two outer holes first and that way I can determine this sweep and then I can push the middle down to it so Every last bit of welding I've done in this car, I've done it with this Hobart Handler 125. I love, love, love this welder. It's awesome, it's 110 powered. It just goes into a little 15 amp circuit. Uh, I have no problem driving it. I'm using 7525 Argon CO2. I got uh, still my sheet metal wire on it, but all I'm trying to do is just plug weld and get the sheet metal tacked to this. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and clamp this up and then we'll go ahead and weld it. Let's look at it on the back side. I got clearance on the top and the bottom. That's gonna be it. When it paints out, you'll never know it.
right, so it just had the two edges, two ends tacked, which gives me the middle to potentially flop around a little bit and move my broom handle, rounding clamp. Well, I should have started like this. I clamped a, a piece of tubing, it's an inch and a quarter piece of tubing square. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind this weld back off, let it flex a little bit, and then I'll go ahead and I'll weld them. I think I'm going to weld them off. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm just going to undo this one, tack it again, and see what happens. This is just trial and error. least enough to move yeah yeah this is a lot straighter I don't know that welding here is going to end up doing anything with that though there's a big old structure that goes all the way across the hood right here where the hinges are and it's right at the edge of that structure right where it's trying to, to bend down and there's no way to extend this bar back behind it yeah it's already got there's already wood structure there Putting a lot of heat in, in it initially, try to get it in that bar because that bar is so much thicker than the sheet metal. So it's, it's kind of a pain in the foot. I think those will grind out. Lord help me when I let it go. Let's see what's gonna happen. I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm not scared of showing you that I'm a fool. <laughs> you know, I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We'll just do something else. But I'm trying to keep it real. <laughs> All right, that's off. Now we got the. My handle underneath, I gotta let go. Please line up. It'd be just so nice if things were just working. You know, it's pivoting on this. I'm wondering. If, it, if I don't have to do something with the hinge some more, like raise the hinge up or something. Okay, I did some off camera work. Um, what I did was I loosened my hinges and dropped, the, dropped at least this side down. I dropped it down, but what I also did is I put a shim, the two bolts that go in the top of the hood, I put a shim in between there. So what I did is I picked, I picked the hood up and left the hinge so that the hinge, it, it doesn't have to close like this it can close down and the back it'll hold the hinge i mean it'll hold the, the hood up so that relaxed this a bunch and now it's just got this little i think natural kink and if i'm remembering right from washing christine with the mitt i'm pretty sure that high spot's always been there so what i'm going to do is now that is close enough for me to go ahead and i'm going to fare that out with a little body filler so i will definitely do that on this side there's no there's no more working with this and getting it but it's the hood is now locked down I'm going to do the same thing on the other side.
That's one. Missed when I first hit the trigger. <laughs> All right. You know, I know there's a lot of other channels out there with guys that are restoring tri fives, um, guys that are much better than me. And you know, my lane. What is you know, my lane is just hey, I am like literally the do-it-yourself guy that just I love being in the garage. I love doing this stuff. I don't do it professionally. I've been doing it my whole life. Uh, when the occasion arises. You know, I don't, I don't intentionally go seeking projects, they find me. You know, if this works, great. If it doesn't work, you know what? So what? I'm going to try something different. I'll try something else. So let's see, let's close the hood and see if this, how this looks. And I think I'll probably have to no, probably have hinge a little bit, too. Oh, man, please. Oh, that's much better. Oh, that is much, 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 much better than the other side. Now, this is the side I doctored. Wow. Oh, no, that's close. Oh, yeah, that's close. Oh, yeah. It isn't going to take much filler at all. Not much at all. I think if I lower... No. Yeah. I think if I lowered the hinge, I'm going to bend, I'm gonna have to bend the back up. So, I'll probably have to do the same trick. I'll probably have to shim the back of the, the, back of the hinge and lift it a little bit. And I think that'll do it. Let me tinker with the hinge. Those look good. I'm going to put the hinge, I mean the springs back on and shut the, hinge, shut the hood. And let's wrap this episode up. Alright, I got the springs back on it. Everything's as tight as I can get it. And here goes nothing. Because I, oh, I don't like that sound. It is tight, tight, tight. Oh, these hinges are so tight. Just don't like this sound and all that. Woo. Yeah, what are we doing back here? Something's going on over here. Oh yeah. I don't know man. Oh, my. Those are new hinges. Relatively new hinges. I think I'm going to have to fool with that a little bit, but as far as alignment goes, we're pretty close. Pretty close. I mean, you don't want to have to walk up the hood and do all that pushing and, and everything, but when it gets right up on it, you can see. All right. It's not bad. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. I don't think the camera's showing it up as much as bad as it is. Got a little bit of a, a rise right there. It's okay over here. Similarly, um, those hinges are tight, man. With the springs on it, it is, it is pinching something. I don't know, man. All right, <laughs> not gonna sugarcoat it. Today was definitely one of those days. Didn't go the way I wanted it. Didn't go as planned. I didn't get done what I wanted to get done. Just part of it, you know. Um, I had to go run out twice. I had to leave here and go pick up the hinges and come back and I lost an hour doing that. And then I had to go out and go pick up those flat bars and come back and now it's probably another 45 minutes. So, you know, I got this done and it's not the way I want it. It's late in the day and I feel like I could get it better. But you know what, this is the time to really like just stop <laughs> to just stop it'll be better next time but next weekend i'll be able to pick right back up right here and i'll be fresh i'll be calm i'll be cool i'll be comfortable and we can get some good work done so anyway i appreciate you sticking with me today it's been it's been a, uh, uh, a rough day but thank you for those of you liking my videos please give them a thumbs up and if you like any channel a subscription would be great so until i see you next time please take care of yourself Thank you.